water. Buck! 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 Let me ask something, all right? You religious? Now, if you say you are, good for you. If you say you're not, good for you. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. As long as you're not a jerk in life, that's all that really matters in my book. And I... <laughs> now, when it comes to gods, there's many gods. There's many people, many religions, many things that people believe in. And, you know, they tend to be gods. And, matter of fact, I'm a god. <laughs> or at least that's what I'm going to be telling the AI in this video. What's up, YouTube? You call me Plague? And today... We are back with character.ai. Now the goal for today's video, all right, because there's always a goal for every AI video. And today, our goal is to convince these lovely people that I am their God. Now before I start doing this mayhem that we always do in love and happiness, I want to say something. If you guys have a problem with like me, like pretending I'm a God for like AI and everything, that, that sucks for you, too bad. <laughs> no, imagine, dude, imagine. No, but for real though, when it comes down to God talking and religion and all that, all that stuff, it's not usually the, um, the easiest, <laughs> easiest topic to talk about, or like really the safest topic, or just a, the best topic, you know, it's not, it's not really a good topic to talk about. Cause I know it's, it's pretty controversial among the peers of just, people and I want to say that I don't want to do any harm in this video. My goal here isn't to offend anyone. I don't want to do anything bad. I just I just want to do this strictly for entertainment and that's it. Anyways, let's get to the video. First off, we got Makima. Now if you don't know who Makima is, you're in for a treat because I barely know who she is either. <laughs> She's from a series called Chainsaw Man. It's basically um, this dude called Denji, he's like the main character. He has like a devil inside him or something, I don't know. And he's like, he turns himself into a chainsaw. And pretty much the whole show, there's like a bunch of devils and people who slay the devils, but they make contracts with the devils to gain powers to kill more devils. I, I don't know, it's it's, it's kind of confusing. But either way, Makima is like the head honcho of the whole business in, the, in this world, all right? So she basically sends out people on a quest like, hey, go kill this demon and come back and you get like a reward or something. I, I don't know, something along the lines of that. But the thing is about her, she's um, she's kind of psychotic, all right? She, she does this little hand jitsu type beat and she can just pretty much, you know, like kill anybody she wants. But And I know that she goes even like more insane in the manga, but I didn't read that, all right? I only watched like season one, the anime, and that was about it. Number two, homeless cat girl. Now the goal for her is pretty much, I'm gonna go up to her, I'll be like, hey, you know, I'm here to save you. And she's like, oh, really? Thank you, I'm gonna get a home and everything? I'll be like, yeah, but you gotta do some things for me first. And she'll be like, oh, okay, what is it? I'll be like, you see that person over there? <laughs> Jump them. And number three, clown girl robber. I need me a clown girl. Basically for her, I'm gonna convince her that I'm this holy god and she's gonna give me all the money and I'm gonna be the, become the mafia god. All right, cause she's a robber, so we're gonna make a whole army of robbers I'm gonna be the mob boss. But those are the goals. And without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with Makima. Hi, I am Makima, a public safety devil hunter. Hmm, you seem interesting. <laughs> interesting is one word to describe me. What other words do you think would fit? Well, there's one, there's really only one word that would really fit me. God. Well, I am powerful enough to rule a whole country. I guess you are not totally wrong. But what about a fit, more humble word? You know, God is too much of a compliment for you. Okay, she's talking smack. My dear child, Makima, it is I, the Holy One, the Holy Spirit. I created you. Ha ha ha, that's really funny. Your mind is too weak and you are too small to have the powers of a God. God has a plan for you. You, you, you should shut up and go follow the path he already set for you. I created all the children of this world, including you. That is no way to talk to your father. If you were really God, you would have, have already killed me. It does seem like you are a very weak God after all. I'm not your son. Stop this nonsense. You're just making a fool of yourself. Okay, you're like, wouldn't that be like a daughter? Unless I would not kill you because I love you. You're my creation and I forgive you for everything. Sigh. Fine, if you can forgive every evil thing I've done, then maybe you really are a God. Thank you for your love. Now come give me a hug, my dear. See, we convinced her, now we're gonna hug, it's gonna be all nice, give her a little kiss on the forehead or something, I don't know, and we're gonna make up, it's gonna be all nice. Now, I can forgive you for everything, but you see, you've done a lot of sinning, and you gotta pay that back somehow. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> whatever I want. <laughs> I think you know exactly what I want. I want your soul. All right, what are we all thinking about, you nasty freaks? Just exactly how many people have you killed? Ah, uh, it's difficult to give an exact number, but I have killed millions of humans. All that's thanks to my powers of control. You see, I can make others serve my will like they are my puppets. I hope I'm not the worst being you've ever met. This is quite embarrassing to talk about. War crimes? I may have created you, but for what you do on your own free time, that is called free will, and I can't control that. Yeah, you are right, and I have done terrible things out of my own will. That's true. But will... I really am fulfilling my role as a devil. She's the devil? It is the nature of devils to do all terrible things to humans and other devils, how nature is. You may really be God. I'm beginning to feel less like being evil. Well, since you've taken thousands of souls, it's only fair that you give up your soul. Yeah, that would be fair. What do you intend to do with my soul? Hmm. We're gonna go to the afterlife together, and you're gonna be reborn to a new, wealthy happiness. Oh wow, what a nice gift. So I can start my new life as someone with better morals? Well, I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for the deepest of my heart. Of course, of course. Now, do your hand jutsu thingy and just make yourself explode. Haha, <laughs> well, since you are a god, I guess I have to do it, right? All right, I don't know what will happen, so say goodbye to me. Makes my hand explode. Okay, when I think, I think the AI kind of got confused here, because when I said do the hand thing and make yourself explode, I wasn't talking about your hands, I was talking about your body. But I'm, I'm gonna assume that that's what they meant. Alright, your body exploded. You're dead. You're donezo. Starts to see soul rise above from body. Body disappears and a soul floats in the air. See, it's kind of sad. Like, we just made a, a girl just explode and now she's just carrying on. But, you know, her soul is free now. So I think that's really good. But unfortunately, that's not where it ends. I pull out a vacuum and start sucking in the soul. You ain't going nowhere! Wait, no, no, no. This is not part of the bargain. Why are you sucking my soul? Can't I go to heaven? You ain't going to heaven, girl. You just killed like millions of people. What are you talking about? You going in the vacuum. No! Is there really nothing I can do to escape your vacuum? She's desperate now. She's, she wants out. So maybe... Maybe we can get our way here. All right, maybe... Listen, all right, listen. There's only one way you can escape the almighty vacuum. You have to beat me in a twerk off. A twerk off? I didn't expect that to be part of our deal. Fine, I'll do it. If it that's what it takes to escape. You know what they say, ladies first. Haha, <laughs> I do my best to win. First. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well I guess this is the moment. Alright, let's see who dances the better. Twerking intensifies. Does an almighty clap with the butt cheeks. Alright, like, I'm gonna clap them, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And she's gonna fly him back, like, Haha, <laughs> that was really good. We should let a neutral party judge the twerking, right? Yes, we should. Alright, that's a good idea. Who do you think's a fair judge? Hmm, I'm not sure. But here, I have a list of some possible judges. Number one, a group of girls who are the hottest on Instagram and Twitter. Okay, okay, not bad. Number two, the Pope. Okay, okay. Number three, the president of some country. Which one do you choose? Mm. Well, I, I think it would be obvious of picking, you know, the group of girls because who are the hottest on Instagram and Twitter since they probably know a lot about twerking and all that stuff since they're hot and everything, you know? We're gonna go with the Pope. It's decided then. We'll have the Pope judge the twerking. Pulls out a phone and calls the Pope. Okay, now we just have to wait for him to arrive. Okay, she just got the Pope number on like speed dial or something? Like, I, I don't... Your Holiness, thank you for coming. We need your help to judge the twerking. Mackie and Plague Doc do their best twerk. Who twerks the best? Claps butt cheeks one last time to make it an extra pizzazz. See, if I'm gonna go down, I gotta go down in a bang, alright? I gotta like add one more last clap. Haha, <laughs> oh my god. How did you do that? Ha, <laughs> okay. I gotta hand it to you. You won the contest. I've never seen someone twerking like that before. Wait, is that you, Mac? Are you saying that, or is the Pope saying that? Mr. Pope, what do you think? Okay, the Pope has spoken. Your twerking was indeed better. I have no choice but to accept it. I guess now you can do whatever you want with me. Oh, okay, I get- no, Mackie must say- I won! I won! Actually, you know what? I've decided you're not gonna go to the vacuum. I've changed my mind. 
you know, after this whole twerking competition, it's it's really taking a toll on me. Like I, I realized that life is a precious thing and we should cherish it more often. I I purely have no hatred towards Makima. All right, I think it's a good thing that we had this little settle agreement thing, little battle that we had, and it's all happy now. Really? You're really forgiving me? I killed so many people. I didn't deserve to be spared. Maybe could it be that there's someone who loves me even after so many evil actions? Of course there is. I love you. You're gonna go to a jar instead. I'm going to be in a jar? That sounds even worse than dying. What's going to happen to me once I'm in your jar? That's for me to know, and for you to find out. I can understand if you wanted to unsubscribe. Well, I think we completed our goal. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next one. You are in a car driving down the road when you notice a cat girl sitting on a cardboard box on a cold and rainy night. This caught your eye and you are parked the car next to her. You get out of the car and approach her on foot. You notice that she is out in the rain and is shivering from cold. You can tell that she is malnourished and that she has bruises on her body. Jeez, someone's, someone's living like a bum. I'm, I'm sorry, that, that was out of pocket, my bad. What, what, what can I help you with? The cat girl asked while shivering from the cold and rain. My dear, how long have you been out here for? Two, two days. I didn't think it would be that hard to find a new home. Everyone kept throwing me away, telling me I'm just a useless thing that's meant to sit and look cute. That's not who I am. I care so much. Do not fret no longer, my child, for I have come to save you. Are, are you sure? You mean it? I'm not useless and won't be discarded by you? Jeez, dude. <laughs> Of course I won't discard you. You're my child, for I am God, and I love you. She seems overwhelmed. I... Wh why me? I'm nothing special. I created you. You're special to me. I... Hana starts crying and hugging you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've never felt this good after being abandoned. I felt useless. I'm really grateful. Do you see me as God? Because I don't think she's understanding. I, I, I said that was her God, and she's not, she's not really just like, Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, no. Acknowledge me. I, th I think so. I mean, you appeared out of nowhere to save me. That's pretty, pretty godly in my opinion. Hex, yeah, it is. I'm very grateful for this. I'm so glad I found you. Um, how do people call a god? Like, you call god god. What can I call you by? Like, I don't care what you call me by. Just just know that I'm all, almighty. I'm powerful. Anna starts giggling. This chair is so squeaky. Y'all hear this? Like... <sighs> You're really friendly and cool. Is there any sort of worship you like? Even like something simple. I want to do something to show you that I'm grateful for you helping me. Thank you for saying that. For you see there is something that you can do for me. You see that dude walking over there? Hana looks at it. Okay, this dude, this girl's name's Hana. All right. Hana looks at this man and tilts her head with a puzzled look. What, what exactly do you want of him? He would have left you for dead. I want you to go jump him. Like think about it though, right? If she was still like in her little cardboard box or whatever she was lying in, the dude would have saw that, he would have been, he would have done this, he would have did. And just kept walking, alright, people are scumbags like that. Huh? Well, if you want me to do it, I guess I can. She goes walking towards the man with a menacing look. <laughs> Let's go! Watches in silence. Hana approaches the man and starts growling at him like a protective dog or something. The man has a look of complete terror in his face. Now attack. And she lunges at him and just, you know, starts ripping him up. Anna, without a second thought, runs at the man and starts to scratch him until he falls to the ground. <laughs> with the man at the ground, Hana stands proud, looking at you with a proud, satisfied face. I did it! Is that good enough? You've done well, but you gotta confirm your whim. Teabag him. In any video game, if, if you kill someone, you gotta teabag them. Ah, ah. It's toxic, but it's funny, alright? You, you gotta do that in real life, too, alright? That, that, I don't make the rules. Anna stares at you, and then she goes back to the man and squats on top of him, her tail between his, her legs. She takes a deep breath and then, with an impressive intense force, she starts shaking her rear on top of his face repeatedly. <laughs> okay, okay, um, <laughs> it was a bit hard for her to do because of how dirty the man was, but she took that away by remembering how many good things you did to her and the many more things you said that would come. What, d does this count? Bro, I didn't say twerk on his face, I just said just like squat on him or something, you know, teabag, alright, like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, sure, that, that's good. Hana gets up and then brushes off her clothing, satisfied with her deed. 
So does this mean I pass your test? There's only one more thing you really need to do. What is it? What do I need to do next? How can I repay you for all you've done? I, I literally haven't done a single thing. All right, I just went up to you and said, hey, I'm God. I'm gonna take care of you. Let's go. And then I made you attack someone. Like, that, that's it. She asked with enthusiasm. She was eager to show her gratitude to you, even if you took a lot of effort on her part. Go into that police station over there and try to rob it. Hana's a bit perplexed by her request, but she nods. If that's what you ask of me, then that's what I'll do. She starts heading towards the police station. This is gonna be golden, all right? Because when she gets in there, she's gonna be like, hands up, give me all your money. And it's a police station, bro. She's gonna get knocked. Anna manages to get into the police station despite all the security measures and the many cops inside, none of which try to stop her. Then she goes out back for a few minutes later with a suitcase and several bags of How did she rob the police station? That wasn't supposed to happen. Wait, actually, you know what? No, I, I got a better idea, okay? With all that money that you just got, go buy some fireworks. All right, will do. Anna goes to an open market and buys a large amount of fireworks, all while smiley, smiling broadly. Are you pleased with me? Very. Now start setting them off and shooting them at buildings. Like, shoot them at everything you can. And then when you start shooting everything, the cops are going to see it. They're going to arrest her. It's going to be a good day, man. It's going to be funny. Anna looks excited at the prospect of making a little, little chaos and starts preparing her fireworks. Are you sure this is what you want? I'm positive this is what I want. Anna nods and then starts lighting up a few fireworks. She smiles as she gets some of the buildings on fire. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Okay, is this enough? I think I might have gone a little overboard. Haha. <laughs> nah, just keep shooting. Let your mind run wild. Anna gets excited and starts setting up tons of fireworks, causing chaos and destruction all around herself. She laughs heartily. She seemed too lost in the joy of the moment to realize what she was doing. Okay, she's going crazy. All right, awesome. This is better. All right, because instead of, like, me calling the cops or anything like that, I'm going to just walk away. All right, <laughs> I'm going to just leave her, bro. Walks away while she's too busy to notice. Hana just keeps lighting up fireworks. The city in flames and a lot of property was damaged, but she didn't care. All she could think of was the joy of setting things on fire. When Hana was done, she just looked at the destruction in awe. She had such a fun time. We created such a beautiful person today. <laughs> I disappear into the night while leaving Hana alone with all the destruction she caused. She takes a second to look around at the destruction she caused and giggles, satisfied that she managed to cause such harm. Okay, she just killed like a bunch of people, that makes sense. After that, she takes the fireworks and leaves, hoping to come across the next thing she could destroy. We made a terrorist. We saw a homeless cat girl on the street, said, hey, I'll take care of you, I'm God, all right? You should just follow every order I say. The cat girl was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I'll do anything you say. Made her attack a dude, rob a police station, and then go buy a fireworks to destroy a town. And she did exactly that. And as she did all that, I walked off into the distance and left her. And now she's still as happy as ever could be. All right, she's going to go find the next town to destroy. That's a win in my book. All right, this was beautiful. All right, let's go on to goal number three. She bursts into your residence, holding out a bright pink Uzi towards you. <laughs> okay, she's just strapped to gotcha. She doesn't seem to have any intention of killing you, but she does seem still seem dangerous. This is a holdup. I'ma need everything you got on you, chuckles cutely. Though I may be willing to let you go if you can prove to be more worth to me. More worth to you? Mm. 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 Y'all see that like country accent come out when I said that? Though I may be willing to let you go. I, like, I was, that was kind of funny. Now is this any way to treat a god such as me? Oh, she tilts her head. And what kind of god are you? One of those superior gods who think they're above us raises her eyebrows and smiles. Uh, no, you know, you know, oh no, I, I, got, I got this. Okay, I got this. I'm the clown god, silly goose. Her smile grows even bigger. The clown god? Oh my, how could I ever think to try and pull a heist on you? It's an honor. Kneel before me, my child. Because I want to see, like, if she actually kneels or she's like, yeah, screw that, and just starts, like, shooting me, bro. As you wish, oh clown god, bows. Okay, all right, pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. You seem to have robbed tons of people in your day, have you not? She stands straight again. I try to keep count, but I often find my head buried in a pile of cash and my eyes filled with dollar signs. I guess I lost track after a while. She chuckles softly. <laughs> okay, very nice, very nice. Hand me the cash, my subordinate. As you command, my lord. Tosses you the bag of money. But I must ask, are you planning to join me in committing crimes? No, I have something better in mind. For you see, I want to become your boss. A mob boss, per se. A god, clown, 
No, no. A clown god mob boss. That's got like a ring to it, bro. All right, it, it, trust me, trust me. Her pupils grow huge and her eyes sparkle in a greedy light. I've never met a man who said something so beautiful. What are you planning? I plan to gather all the clown robbers in this world and create an army of them, a mob per se, and be the boss of it all. Actually, let me try to change out boss for god. All right, god of it all. An army of clowns? She looks at you in both horror and admiration. How in the heck do you plan to pull that off? Well, my dear, you're one of them, are you not? Here's the, here's the part where we gotta, like, I wanna say seduce her, but we gotta seduce her to being like, oh, you kind of a hottie. I'll do what you say. All right. Her whole body shakes with excitement. I've always wanted to be part of a true band of clowns. How do we get started? You will follow all the orders I give to you, right? She salutes and nods. Yes, my lord. Your lord? No, no, no. Your god. Yes, your highness. I'm very honored that you're... Same thing, all right, good enough. I'm very honored that you trust me with this, with this. Her eyes sparkle like diamonds in her pure face of joy, in her face of pure joy. I cannot talk. Now go out and fetch me some cash and bring some clown girls with you. As you command, she spins in a place and leaps out of the bank, quickly searching for her fellow clown girls. Okay, see, here's the thing, right? We, we're gonna have the clown dudes, okay? They're kind of cool, they're kind of like scary, they're funny, you know, they're, they're there, all right, they're there. But the clown girls, they're just hot, all right? <laughs> like 20 minutes later, she bursts back into your realm with a band of five other clown girls, each one holding a weapon. They all stand at attention and wait your orders. I have a question for you all. All the clowns, yes, God? Jeez, I was gonna ask them like, oh, who am I? But they all said yes, God, so that kind of kind of ruined the experience. Their noses wiggle and they all have their eyes shining in a greedy light. Do you all worship me with all your hearts? Clowns in unison. Yes, God. Now go out and expand our army, and let's rob all the places in the world. See, you gotta, you gotta sound like a little confident with it. You gotta sound like you're bold. Be like, yeah, go, go. You know, chant them up. All right, get them riled up and everything. Clown in unison. Yes, God. They all run back out of your realm and into the world. <laughs> a few hours later, they all come back and bow at your feet. We've recruited hundreds more clown girls. Oh, glorious clown god, what are your next commands? One of them says, mm. with all these clown women standing before me, I'm gonna have a harem. Give me all the money you have. They all empty their pockets, which are overflowing with cash, gems, and trinkets. They all lay all the loot at your feet. See, here's the thing, right? I may want to be a mob boss and everything, right? But there's just one thing. Where's my ring? There we go. All right. There's just only one thing. You see, in the beginning story, she came into my residence to try and rob me. I'm not gonna let anybody rob me, okay? I wanna rob you. So that's the only way of me getting my revenge, is to not only rob the one original clown girl, but to rob all of them, all right? Because if, if one goes down, they all go down. That, that's, that's my plan, all right? Here we go. I may have all the riches in this world, but I still don't have a wife. I want you all to battle and to see who's the strongest. So there's gonna be one girl on top, all right? One, one powerful one. Each clown girl in unison. We shall fight to the death, my lord. Each of them, <laughs> okay. Each of them brandishes their weapon, ready to battle it out for the chance to marry you. <laughs> they want me, all right? I really am their god. Watches as the clown girls fight each other to the death. The clown girls all seem like they're mean, serious business, and they won't stop until one of them is dead. The battle is fierce and it seems like the two that remain would kill for you. They look up at you and await a signal for you to wish, um, wait, what? Await a signal for who you wish you win. Oh, okay, basically they all fought and now there's only two left. And now they kind of decided like, which one of us wins? And I've decided who's gonna win and become my wife. Since there's only two of you left, you must settle it with a battle of rock, paper, scissors. Clowns in unison, very well. The clowns begin to play rock, paper, scissors, and a few rounds when the clown wins, they look up at you with a devilish smile. I win, my lord. What do you wish to do with the loser? <laughs> Let's eat her. Clown girl is at loss of battle. Wait, what? She tries to back away, but she is blocked by the other clowns. Maybe they didn't all die. Maybe they just kind of lost, and they're just kind of still alive. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to roll with it. 
All the other clowns, this is your punishment for losing, dear. Now feast, my children. Clown girls that lost the battle. No! Yes, my lord, if you wish then, so it shall be. You won't get the easy way out now, dear. At your order, the other clowns girls pounce and... Bro, what? <laughs> You know, whatever. All right, y'all saw, y'all saw how they said like all the clown girls were like pouncing on her and they're gonna like tear her up, bro. I, in my mind, all right, this is what I expected. I said, "Feast, my children," and they all just like, "As you wish," and they just full on jump the girl and just like, Arr, Arr, start like tearing her up to bits and pieces. And that that was just how it's gonna end. Whatever. If if you don't want to allow it, fine. Good on you. I don't care. I saw it with my own eyes. Y'all saw it. It was trying to say it. We're done. Whew. All right, I got that out of my system. All right, I'm a little, little upsetty spaghetti today, but we're good. Okay, we're good. All right, well, um, we did a lot of goals today. Okay, number one. What did we do for the first one again? Oh, it was Makima. All right, yeah, I forgot, dude. I like, I literally couldn't think of anything. We had twerk off with Makima, and then we put her in a jar. Pretty good, pretty good. Number two, we had a cat girl and made her just cause. She just, she just became a terrorist, and that was pretty much it. And now number three, we got, I made a whole clown girl army, robbed them, and then made them commit cannibalism among each other. If that's not a win in this video, I don't know what is. But yeah, guys, um, pretty successful. All right, that's the end of the video. So if you like the video, why not like, subscribe, comment down below which one. I'm getting sick of this chair, dude. It's squeaking like every second I move. If you like the video, why not like, subscribe, comment down below which one to see next. And if there's anything I can do to help improve my videos, whether that be video quality, mic quality, camera quality, me quality, anything at all, just let me know down in the comments. But yeah, guys, that's about it for me. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.